Moving on, members of the Emioga Savings and Credit Cooperative Enterprises in Greater Masaka have been tasked to certify their products to the Uganda National Bureau of Standards to enhance their competitiveness in the market. This follows a special value addition awareness meeting between Emioga beneficiaries, the Uganda National Bureau of Standards, URA and Uganda Registration Services Bureau officials in Masaka supported by the Microfinance Support Center. Ensuring enhanced value addition in substitution for sale of unprocessed products is a dream that President Jerome Museveni has been yearning for in order to drive the 68% of the homesteads from subsistence to the money economy through Emioga innovation. In Masaka, Emioga beneficiaries have since heeded to the presidential call of realization economic transformation through entrepreneurship and value addition. We have honey, we have detergent, detergent so our target now it is to register so that we can be even the east african eastern market if i register chimanya carbon electric does circle honey i will be using that name only nobody can use that name however this journey has often faced challenges arising from failure by emioga entrepreneurs to certify their products register their businesses with ursb and acquire tin numbers from ura thus limiting market penetration this time round our power it will be put on how to produce good things how to register how to get in market so they have been facing challenges of accessing the market without un base and ursb uh, UNB certification, URSB support, and URA. To bridge the certification, registration, and impediments, the Microfinance Center has initiated a value addition awareness meeting between URA, URSB, and UNBS with Emioga beneficiaries from Masaka, in which the beneficiaries have been imparted with essential skills and knowledge on certifying their products for competitive local and global markets. As MSC, we are having a program. Uh, we are grooming these circles, the Mioga circles, uh, to become very strong institutions that can stand on their own. Because if you have registered your name and you find someone else is using it, you can easily sue them. And you can also sue someone who has not really done a perfect, a perfect job. So if you make less money, you pay less taxes. So you pay what you are supposed to pay, but it's a responsibility that whether small or big, everyone pays their taxes. Fiona Nachaze, a registration officer at URSB in Masaka, has advised Emioga Sako entrepreneurs to secure their business names before investing in branding to avoid costly mistakes and double work. When you brand something when you've not really registered it, it's going to be time, time wastage and also costly. Because if, you if you're to brand it there and it's not in your name and it's been taken by someone else, that is like double work. Deputy Resident City Commissioner for Masaka City, Ahmed Katere Gamusazi, has underscored the significance of business registration due to the related legal and financial benefits. They are going to test the products they have brought, but it will be disappointing if they come back looking for their factories and they are not there. Social Spotlight.